Hey, it's Andy, and it is day five of the Deep Density Detox, and I feel good. <laughs> the, the tide has turned. I feel like uh, the light at the end of the tunnel, everything I was wishing for and hoping for and wondering if it was going to be there, is there. Um, why is that? Well, today, today's theme was cultivating emotional awareness. Being aware of our emotions, being willing to feel our emotions, this is my wheelhouse. If you've been watching any of these prior videos leading up to this, um, I've been willing to feel. I've been willing to express. So I, I've, I finally feel like I've been doing this right. This, this is working. I've been willing to express myself and feel the old fears. Even, even when I thought those fears were done, they weren't. And I'm seeing that that's okay. And it's, it's perhaps never done. And that is even better than okay. All right? So the, the declaration for today from Panache was, I am empowered to consciously respond rather than react. When an emotion comes up, this is what I've learned for myself and teach clients and students all the time. When an emotion rises up, that is the moment it wants to be felt. There is no such thing as negative emotions, no such thing as bad emotions. All emotions serve us if we are willing to feel them when they show up. Every time we stuff an emotion, deny it, try to hide it, we are only delaying when it will be felt. And what we're ensuring is that it will be felt as a reaction, as an unconscious reaction to something happening as opposed to our choice. All right. <sighs> Think of all the different emotions that we've been told are wrong or inappropriate or perhaps we got punished or yelled at for expressing at some point in our lives. I'm thinking anger, sadness, fear, right? I, I've been living in a lot of fear these last few days. That's what keeps showing up for me. And, you know, I had things happen to me as a kid and I decided that the world was not a safe place, that it was scary. But pushing open my comfort zone, any, tackling anything new, right, is scary too. So fear doesn't have to stop us. Let, let fear be the sign that you're growing that you're expanding, that you're evolving. And that can change everything. And, and anger, you know, don't be angry, don't express that. Uh, no, but if, ah, I'm not saying get, you don't have to, you can be angry without striking out at someone. You can be angry with someone and feel it and be pissed and scream and shout and release it and feel it without getting violent, without getting someone's face, right? All, all this notion of road rage and, you know, that's people that have been denied and stuffed and it shows up for somebody else. Nobody else can make you feel something that isn't already within you. You know, when I was growing up, I, 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 again, I, I felt depressed, uh, suicidal thoughts from a really young age. I felt everything. I was crying. It seemed like I was crying at the drop of a hat. I thought sadness meant I was weak. Sadness just meant I had an open heart that I was willing to feel. And sometimes I was feeling things that didn't belong to me necessarily. Other events, people, I, I was so open, so empathic that I, I, I felt the energy of other people's. I would pick up other people's emotions and think it was my own. And I thought that made me broken and flawed and sick. It didn't. I thought being emotional, being sensitive were, were horrible curses, but they're not. You know, being enlightened, you know, whatever that means, being a spiritual person, it doesn't mean you don't, don't have any emotions any longer. It actually means you feel them even more intensely and you're willing to feel them. And energy, emotions are energy in motion. Emotions want to move through us. When we're willing to feel them, they pass through us so much easier, so much quicker, so much with so much more grace than we believe so. So what this deep density detox has been about, I thought it was about releasing and clearing emotions. It's not. It's been about releasing my judgments about my emotions. It is never bad or wrong to be sad, to be angry, to be fearful, to be depressed. What makes it wrong is our own judgment about it. When we're willing to just feel what's there, and by feeling, I just mean giving the space, breathe into it, like, oh, I'm really sad right now, and it's okay to cry. Or I'm really angry right now, and it's okay to be freaking angry. It's all good. Breathe into it. You don't have to go run around. You don't have to act anything out. Let it be felt within you. Feel it pass through you. Right? 
then you can consciously choose your response instead of being reactionary because of all this pent up emotion that you've never dealt with. So I'm getting it. <laughs> I, and I used to think that happy people were just constant. They were flat and happy, but it's not like that. You know, life is up and down. Life is feeling good, feeling bad, feeling happy, feeling scared, right? It's life is, is bipolar, right? Energy up and downs. It's in waves, highs and lows. That's the natural state. We're supposed to feel it all. The thing that gets us in trouble is when we judge that we're feeling too good, we're feeling too low. We think that any one moment is how we will feel for the rest of our days. It's not. So much more damaging than any emotion I ever felt was my judgment about it. You know, when I first started making videos, everything had to be scripted. And if I showed any emotion in a video, oh, I delete that, never post that. Now, I just allow myself to be open. I allow myself to feel whatever's showing up. And I hope that gives you the space, the courage, you know, someone to model, to fully be you, to fully feel whatever is showing up in any given moment for you. Feeling your emotions when they first arise is the most healing, healthy thing you can do. Let go of the judgment. Let go of the blocks. Right? The world is safe. You are supported. You're infinitely loved. And being a human being comes with these gifts of emotions. So use them. Don't try to return them. Don't try to put them back in a box. Give them to somebody else. Because <laughs> if you try that, they will show up <laughs> reactionary. It'll be a, a violent gift exchange always trying to happen. <sighs> I used to think sadness meant I was weak. I used to think tears meant I was depressed. I am now seeing more and more clearly that emotions, all emotions, just mean I'm alive. And anyone on a quest to, to elevate, to expand themselves for spiritual growth, for enlightenment, whatever, whatever the word is you think it means, it means being willing to feel uncomfortable, being willing to feel Feelings that don't always feel good, but in your allowance of them and your willingness to go with the flow of that emotion, it does feel good. Your alignment comes back into being, right? Your natural place of being happy and joyful comes back into being. Again, it is our resistance and our judgment of emotions that get us into trouble. So I am feeling great today, and if any moment comes up where I'm feeling sad, or guilty, or shamed, or angry, I'm gonna feel that too, and I'm gonna fucking love it. Be good to yourselves. Be better than good to yourselves. Allow yourself to feel without judgment. Give that gift to you today. Just try it for today, what the hell, right? Cool. If you like these videos, be sure and subscribe on YouTube. See them all. Visit me at navitascoach.com. N-A-V-I-T-A-S dot com. And be good to yourself. And I will be good to myself. And together, we're all going to feel and heal and love and express and dance and sing. And also be scared and shamed and guilted. And it's all fine. It's better than fine. This is what life is. Feel it. Embrace it. Be good to yourself. I've said that like nine times. So I must really mean it. Be wicked good to yourself. <laughs> Bye.